Hi guys! Welcome sa Engie Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers. So, just like dun sa previous video ko kung saan hinanap natin yung logarithm at exponent involving complex number, so pwede rin nating hanapin yung trigonometric functions at hyperbolic functions ng complex number. Okay? So, hindi lang real number, like yung mga defined angle in degrees or region, yung pwede nating hanapan ng trigonometric and hyperbolic functions. So, meron lang tayong mga susunding formula dito sa video na to. So, hindi ko na sila i-derive. Ibibigay ko na sa inyo directly yung formula for finding the trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex number. Pero they are derived mainly dito sa Euler's identities. So, alam naman na natin tong mga different Euler's identity na to. So, i e to i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. And e raised to negative i theta is equal to cos theta minus i sin theta. Tapos, ito yung derived formula dito sa dalawa, which is yung cos sin theta is equal sa e raised to i theta plus e raised to negative i theta over 2. And sin theta naman is equal to e raised to i theta minus e raised to negative i theta over 2i. Okay? Then kapag hyperbolic function naman, so naturo ko naman na rin sa inyo to, ito yung formula natin, right? Yung hyperbolic cosine or cos theta is equal to e raised to theta plus e raised to negative theta over 2 and hyperbolic sine or sin theta is equal to e raised to theta minus e raised to negative theta over 2. Okay? So, Ito yung mga important formula kung paano natin madi-derive yung trigonometric functions and hyperbolic functions of complex number. So, let's say meron tayong complex number z equals to x plus minus iy. So, for the trigonometric functions, ito yung mga formula natin. So, sin iy is equal to i sin y and cos iy is equal to cos y. Then, kapag sin ng x plus iy equal to sa sin x cos y plus i cos x sin y. So, usually, na-derive to doon sa sum and difference identity natin for sin and cosine. Okay? Then, kapag sin x minus i y naman, equal siya sa sin x cos y minus i cos x sin y. For cos sin x plus i y naman, equal siya sa cos x cos y minus i sin x sin y. Kapag cos sin x minus i y naman, equal siya sa cos x times cos y plus i sin x sin y. Okay, and then yung remaining trigonometric function like yung tan, cotangent, second, and cos second z, apply lang natin yung identity. So for tangent z, equal siya sa sin z over cos z. So ano man makuha natin value dito, apply yung mga formula na to, apply lang natin yung identity for tan z, divide natin yung sin z sa cos z. Then, kapag cot z, so reciprocal siya ni tan, right? So, 1 over tan z or cos z over sin z. Then, kapag second z, reciprocal naman siya ni cosine. So, kanong makuha natin sa cosine, reciprocal lang natin 1 over cos z. Kapag cos second z, 1 over sin z. Okay? Now, for hyperbolic functions naman, so ito yung mga formula natin. So, since i y is equal to i sin y, cos i y is equal to cos y, Kapag sinh x plus i y equal siya sa sinh x cos y plus i cos x sin y. Kapag sinh x minus i y equal siya sa sinh x cos y minus i cos x sin y. Kapag cos x plus i y equal naman siya sa cos x cos y plus i sinh sin y. Kapag cos x minus i y equal naman siya sa cos x cos y minus i sinh x sin y. Okay? And then, sa remaining hyperbolic function like tanh z, cot z, set z, saka coset z, apply lang din natin yung identities. So, pag nakuha na natin yung sinh z, tsaka cos z dito sa mga formula, we have tanh z is equal to sinh z over cos z, 
cos z is equal to cos z over sin z or 1 over tan z, sep z is equal to 1 over cos z, and cos z is equal to 1 over sin z. So, ang pinakamahalaga is itong base formula natin for the hyperbolic sine and cosine. As well as yung sa trigonometric, yung sine at cosine formula nung complex number. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung mga formula for finding the trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. For the first one, we have sine of 0.423i. Okay, so parang meron tayong sin i y dito. So, ang formula natin dun kanina is eto, right? So, sin i y is equal to i sin y. So, equal siya sa i sin y. So, yung y natin is itong 0.423. So, pag hinanap natin yung value nyan is i times sin nung y which is 0.423. So, by the way, kapag nagko-compute kayo ng trigonometric functions and hyperbolic functions of complex number is, for safety purposes, lagi kayong magre-region. Naka-region mode yung inyong calcule. So, pwede nyo na lang itong i-input sa calcule directly itong since 0.423. Meron naman tayong ganong function sa calcule, yung hype. So, pindutin nyo yung hype, tapos piliin nyo yung sinch. Then, input nyo yung value na 0.423 na dapat naka-region. Okay? So, pag ginawa natin yon equal to sa i times 0.436 or 0.436i. So, pwede rin, di ba meron tayong definition kanina sa sinch? Anong definition na rin kanina sa sinch? Ito, since theta is equal to e raised to theta minus e raised to negative theta over 2. So, pwede siyang equal sa i times e raised to, so theta natin bali is itong 0.423 minus e raised to negative 0.423 over 2. So, pag sinimplify natin ito sa calcule, kinumpute natin pareho lang dapat dito sa value natin. 0.436 tapos times i. Okay. Next, we have sine of 0.32 plus 0.43i. Okay, so meron tayong form na sine ng x plus i y, right? So, yung x natin is 0.32, tapos yung y natin is 0.43. So, ano yung formula natin kanina dyan? So, sine x plus i y is sine x cos y plus i cos x sin y. Okay, so, equal siya sa sin x cos y plus i cos x sin y. So, substitute natin. So, sin 0.32 plus 0.43i is equal to, so, sin x is 0.32 cos y is 0.43 plus i cos x is 0.32 times sin y is 0.43. So, kapag gumamit tayo ng calcule, kinumpute natin yung bawat term isa-isa, tapos minultiply, sa so dapat naka-region mo tayo. Importantly, kasi hinanap natin yung sine at cosine ng region angle na 0.32. So, ano yung sin 0.32? 0.315. Tapos ito, pwede nyo directly input sa calcule na hyperbolic cosine 0.43 or again, pwede yung definition natin kanina. Ano yung definition natin sa cosh? So, cosh theta is equal to e raised to theta plus e raised to negative theta over 2. Okay, so other alternative is e raised to, so yung theta natin is 0.43 plus e raised to negative 0.43 over 2 plus Ay, ano naman yung cos 0.32? 0.949. Times, pwede nyo rin input sa calcule na lang tong sin 0.43. Or yung other form niya kanina is e raised to 0.43 minus e raised to negative 0.43 over 2. Okay? So, all in all, pag in-input natin sa calcule, ang masasolve nating value is 
0.345 plus 0.421i. Okay. Next, we have cos of 0.94 minus 0.49i. Okay. So, meron tayong form ng hyperbolic cosine or cos x minus iy, right? Kung saan yung x natin is itong 0.94 at yung y natin is itong 0.49. So, ano yung formula natin for cos of x minus iy? So, ito, right? Cos x times cos y minus i sinh x sin y. So, equal siya sa cos x cos y minus i sinh x sin y. So, substitute lang natin yung value sa formula. So, cos x, x is 0.94 times cos y, y is 0.49 minus i sinh x, x is 0.94 sin y, y is 0.49. Okay, again, in region mode, makocompute natin yung value nitong cosine 0.49 as what? 0.882. And then itong cos 0.94, pwede nyong i-direct input sa calcu or yung other form niya is e raised to 0.94 plus e raised to negative 0.94 divided by 2. Okay, minus i. So itong sinh. 0.94, pwede nyo uling i-direct sa calcu or yung other form niya is e raised to 0.94 minus e raised to negative 0.94 over 2 times, eto namang sine of 0.49 using calculator in region mode, ang value niyan is 0.471 Okay, so kapag kinompute nyo, minultiply nyo to dalawang terms, yung real at Imaginary part, ang final answer natin is 1.301 minus 0.511i. Okay? Next, we have cosine of 3.21 minus 1.23i. Okay, so meron tayong form na cosine of x minus iy. Kung saan yung x natin is 3.21 and then yung y natin is 1.23. So, yung formula natin kanina doon is eto. Cos x cos y plus i sin x sin y. So, we have cos x cos y plus i sin x sin y. So, substitute natin. So, we have Cos x, x is 3.21 times cos y, y is 1.23 plus i, sin x, x is 3.21 times sin y, y is 1.23. Okay, so using calculator, ang masasolve nating value in region mode for cos 3.21 is negative 0.998 right and then itong cos 1.23 pwede natin i-input sa calcu directly or yung other form niya is e raised to 1.23 plus e raised to negative 1.23 over 2 plus i ano yung value nung sin 3.21 in region mode sa calculator is negative 0.23 0.684 And then itong Since 1.23 Pwede natin yung input directly sa calcu Or yung other form niya is E raised to 1.23 Minus E raised to negative 1.23 over 2 So using calculator Pag sinimplify natin yung bawat term Yung real at imaginary part We have 1.853 Negative Minus 0.107i So therefore, this is the final answer Okay? 
Next, we have hyperbolic cosecant or cosec 0.25 plus 0.52i. Okay, so this time, meron tayong hyperbolic cosecant. So, pwede natin i-apply dito yung identity na equal siya sa 1 over sinch 0.25 plus 0.52i. Right? So, hanapin muna natin itong sinch 0.25 plus 0.52i and then i-reciprocal natin para makuha natin yung value nitong cosec. So, meron tayong form na sin or hyperbolic sign, sinh x plus iy, right? So, anong formula natin kanina doon? Sa taas. Ito. So, sinh x cos y plus cos x sin y. So, sinh x cos y plus cos x sin y. So, substitute natin yung value. Sinch x, so by the way, yung x natin dito is 0.25, tapos yung y natin is 0.52. So, sinch x, x is 0.25, times cos y, y is 0.52, then plus, so may i pala to, sorry, i, cos x, 0.25, times sin y, sign up 0.52 So using calculator yung makukuha nating value sa cos 0.52 is what in region mode 0.868 right and then itong sin 0.25 pwedeng yung i-direct sa calcu or yung other form niya is e raised to 0.25 minus e raised to negative 0.25 over 2 Okay, plus i, itong cos 0.25, pwede nyong i-direct sa calcu o yung other form niya is e raised to 0.25 plus e raised to negative 0.25 over 2. And then itong sin 0.52 is what? Using calculator, 0.497. So, pag kinumpute natin ito sa calcu, ang masasolve nating value is... 0.219 plus 0.513i. Okay? And then, kailangan pa natin itong i-reciprocal kasi ito yung pinaka-final answer natin, right? Nakakosearch tayo. So, 1 over 0.219 plus 0.513i. So, since meron tayong complex number under the denominator, i-rationalize natin. So, multiply natin both numerator and denominator by the conjugate. So, gagawin lang natin tong opposite sign yung plus. So, times 0 0.219 minus 0 0.513i sa denominator. So, same lang din dapat sa numerator. 0 0.219 minus 0 0.513i. So, pwede nyo na to actually i-compute sa calcu directly in complex mode. So, pwede nyo manumanuhin or compute nyo na lang directly sa calcu. Pag ginawa natin yun, ang masasolve natin is 0 0.704 minus 1.649i. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Trigonometric and hyperbolic functions of complex numbers. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na ito at maraming salamat sa panunood.